Uh, the overarching goal of our group is to understand and design complex material surfaces and interfaces. Um, we are an interdisciplinary group and we develop and employ electronic structure tray simulations, atomistic simulations, data science methods and materials informatics to achieve this goal of ours. For example, for electronic structure theory, our group uses existing codes like VASP and Quantum Expresso. And we also develop Python-based community codes like our recent code Hetero2D that enables high-throughput electronic structure theory simulations and machine learning for heterointerface structure and properties. Our work is motivated by immediate applications to solar energy conversion, power electronics, and nanoelectronics mostly. For example, uh, in a recent study of ours, we discovered 40 plus materials that can enable solar driven conversion of the greenhouse gas CO2 to fuels. And this study involved the consideration of more than 70,000 materials and more than 500 materials interfaces. I was always interested in computational research like since undergrad and so looking at the different labs that are available this one really stood out to me. Um, it was a fully computational lab um, and they did a lot of work with like surfaces and interfaces um, modeling specifically those um, processes and specifically Professor Singh had a lot of background in kind of materials discovery so she was part of like materials project, materials genome and that was really interesting to me too. Um, and luckily now I get to kind of work with that um, with my project as well. So I really feel like the skills I'm learning right now are um, so kind of varied and, and different and also very transferable. So I'm applying them now to one current project that I'm working on, but in the future I can either apply them to the same project or um, very different um, varied areas. And I think that's really cool. So I'm kind of learning all these different skills, putting them together throughout my PhD. Um, and I feel like then I'll be able to kind of go out and choose um, uh, one project and then switch to another and be kind of very adaptable and be able to learn um, a lot of new uh, skill sets and, and new areas that way. I used to do computational work for a period of time uh, during my undergrad and my master's back in India. Uh, and then I saw a call from Arunima about uh, her looking for PhD positions. And I was like, okay, this role seems suited to the kind of stuff that I do. And so I uh, sent her an email asking her that should I apply? Do you think this would make sense? And she's like, it makes perfect sense. You should definitely go ahead and apply. There's a lot of interesting projects that we can do together. And uh, that was, and I was, and then I went ahead and looked at her profile. And she is uh, one of the leading figures in terms of computation and discovery of materials. And I was like, okay, this is definitely something I want to do. And I went ahead and I applied, and that's why I'm here today. In general, this is a very broad area of research, I feel like, because uh, nowadays we need new materials for a variety of applications in the world today, right? So we need these for energy applications, uh, even we, we need these for like extreme materials, right? So materials that, let's say, go up into space, that divers used to go down into the seas, uh, and these materials need to be made in a way that's different from everyday materials that we use. And the work that I do here is aimed at trying to unearth those properties and those, and, and trying to discover theoretically those materials. So the work that I do here today has wide reaching applications and it can actually propel anyone doing this kind of research into a variety of fields. And so, uh, yeah, that's where I feel the applicability of my research is it's pretty broad and can help me do pretty much a lot of things. All of this might seem very complex and, uh, and it might put you off towards pursuing a career in this, but I would urge everyone to not do that because it's much simpler when you have like a closer view of all of this and it's extremely interesting. We're always looking to work with motivated, enthusiastic and talented students, graduate students, postdocs, undergraduates, and even high school students. So please look us up on our website and please contact me if you would like to work with us. Thank you.